Hello, my name is Matt Max and welcome to the Mailbox. This is a series outside of the main series of Let's Build an 8-Bit Computer, where we'll answer questions that come up. Either somebody will ask me a question or I will find out that I forgot something and then I will make like an additional video to answer the question. So, I watched the videos I made and it occurred to me that I actually forgot to tell you why you actually need to understand logic gates. <laughs> Which was kind of a bad blunder, so... Here's the reason why. What the hell do you see here? All of this are just logic gates, okay? You do not have to build logic gates out of individual transistors. You can actually buy them. Every one of those black boxes you see are just a couple logic gates, okay? Those are XOR gates. Those are AND gates. This is an OR gate. And I wired them all together in a really cool and interesting way. And if you wire them together correctly, what you get is a function, an actual function of a computer. And in this case, a function is an adder. It adds two binary numbers. Over here, you have the input. Okay, the lowest four digits of this LED are the first number, and the upper four digits are the second number. And this is the result. So in this case, we add four plus uh, four plus five. That's nine. And you see. It's 1 plus 8, that's 9, so it works. And, you know, I can go ahead and, you know, change the numbers. And you see the addition works, okay? And the whole process takes just a couple nanoseconds, right? It's really fast. So in this case, we have uh, 2 plus 4, that's 6, plus... Uh, plus 5, that's 11, and here we have 8 plus 2, that's 10, plus 1 is 11. Yeah, it's correct. So this thing is actually working. And it's working only by a clever combination of simple logic gates, and that is how a computer does it. A computer has this clever combination of logic gates to do really simple, basic functions. And then it adds a couple of those basic functions together into more complex units. And that's basically it. That's all a computer does. As it turns out, a computer is really quite easy. A computer is basically just a control unit that tells different of those clever circuits when they should be on and when they should be off. And a counter that tells the control unit when the control unit should send the next command. Right, should activate a different part of your computer. So that is how a computer works on the basic level, through logic gates like this. Now, in my project, I'll actually not use this, what you see here, which is again a 4-bit adder. Instead, I'm going to use this right here, which is, well, a 4-bit adder. <laughs> so all of this is on this little ship. Right? I just built this to understand how it works before I actually go ahead and use one of these. My name is Matt Max. Thanks for watching this episode. If you have any questions, ask them and tune in next time.